Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to attach Selenium documentation. So if we attach Selenium documentation in the projects, then we'll be entitled to see the implemented code for the Selenium library consisting of interfaces, classes, etc. Let me quickly switch to Eclipse IDE so that I can show you this thing. First, I'll create a normal Java project. File new, I'll select project. Here in this new project dialog, I'll search for Java. So when I search for Java, I'm getting this Java project. Under the Java folder, we can find this Java project or we can select it from here, anything is fine. Click on next button and now give a name. Let's say demo Selenium documentation like this. I'll just give some project name in upper camel case. Click on finish. So once the project is created, okay, expand this project. Now expand this SRC, delete this file case, okay? Delete this default uh, generated Java file. Nowadays in the latest version of Eclipse, Eclipse ID, this version is getting generated. If it's not generated, no, no need to worry. If it's generated, just delete that, okay? There's no use of that. Now, right click on this SRC, create a new class and name this class as demo and also auto-generate this public static void main string of ox, okay? Once it is auto-generated, now remove this comment, okay, which got auto-generated. Now we have a class. Under the class, we have the main method. Now here, let's write the Selenium automation code. So how to write the Selenium automation code? Web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver, okay? Now hold the mouse on web driver and see that you will not be able to import this web driver interface or Chrome driver class because Selenium library is not configured yet in this project. By default, when you create this project, this project comes with Java library, but it will not contain the Selenium library. In order to add and configure the Selenium library, I need to click on, right click on this project, select new and create a folder guys, name this folder as libraries or LIB or whatever you feel comfortable, okay? Now go to the official website of Selenium, that is selenium.dev and go to the downloads, scroll down, and download this latest version of Selenium that is 4.6.0, guys, okay? So latest stable as per today's date. Tomorrow, it may be different, guys, okay? Whatever the stable version is there, okay? Just click on that. It will be downloaded. The zip file will be downloaded, guys. Once the zip file is uh, downloaded, then we'll go to the location where it is downloaded. As you can see, the Selenium Java library got successfully downloaded. Let's go to the location, guys, where it got downloaded, show in folder. And we have a zip file. Let me extract this zip file. Click on extract. In a while, the zip file will be extracted and inside this zip file will uh, have this jar files, okay? So let that get extracted, it's almost there. And if you get this option, okay, sometimes you'll get this option like replace the files in the destination, then simply select the same option, replace the files in the destination. Now the extracted folder got opened, guys. Now copy all the jar files, okay? So directly under the folder, we have the jar files here. So dot jar, from here to here, we have the jar files. Copy these jar files and uh, paste it here, okay? Paste the jar files here. Similarly, there's one more folder that is LIB folder. In that also we have some jar files. Copy all these jar files inside the LIB folder and paste them here in the project under the libraries folder or whatever the folder you created. Now right click on the project, select properties, Java build path. And here if libraries tab is not selected, select that. If class path is coming, then select. If class path is not coming, no need to select it. Class path is specially coming then select this and say add jobs. Now expand this, expand the libraries, select all these jar files. Click on OK and apply. Apply and close. Now you see all these libraries will get an icon here. Earlier plain text file kind of thing was there. Now they are getting some recognize, recognized kind of uh, feeling. Now hold the mouse on web driver and import this web driver from Selenium. Similarly, import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium. Okay. Once imported, now we have to uh, set the path to the chrome driver.exe file. Otherwise, the script is not going to run. So for that, I'll create a folder, guys. Right click on the project, create a folder known as 
drivers folder. You can give any name, guys. I'm just giving drivers. Go to the location. Again, downloads location and uh, scroll down in the downloads page of uh, selenium.dev. And here in the bottom somewhere, you'll see browsers. And I'm using Chrome browser. So I'll go to Chrome and say documentation. And uh, all versions available in downloads. Go to that place. You see, these are some releases, guys. Now, for, uh, click on this uh, three dots and say help uh, about Google Chrome. You'll get a version, guys. 107.0. 0.530488 is there. Here 10.0.530462 is there. That's okay. Last version is not matching, but still most of the thing is matching. Except 88, everything is matching. So we can go with the best uh, matchable version here. This one, click on that. And uh, click on this Chrome driver uh, Windows. You see Linux, Mac. Since my machine is Windows, I will go with this only Windows 32, is, which is available. Click on that. It will download the zip file. Okay. So let's wait for the zip file to be completely downloaded it got downloaded now show in folder extract this zip file extract we'll get the chrome driver.exe file guys once it gets extracted the extracted folder you see chrome driver.exe file okay copy this chrome driver.exe file and paste it under the drivers folder now here type a class predefined class in java known as system class system dot get uh, sorry, not get set. We have to say set property system dot set property. This is a predefined uh, class from Java from Java dot lang default package and uh, double quotes, double quotes, provide double quotes in this uh, two arguments that you are passing to the set property method. The first one you just write web driver dot chrome dot driver. In the second one, you have to provide the path of this chrome driver dot exe. So this particular chrome driver dot exe is directly under the project. You can put a dot here, dot stands for project path under the project under the drivers folder under the drivers folder we have this chrome driver dot exe file okay so far so good now save this and run this script uh, see whether uh, chrome driver dot exe chrome browser is launching or not okay if it is launching then we'll go to the next step chrome browser need to launch now okay with this setup see how the chrome browser is launching so Chrome browser is launching because this constructor is being called. Now I got a, uh, I got a doubt like what code is implemented inside this Chrome driver constructor. Okay, I just want to go inside the Chrome driver constructor and see how the code is implemented for opening the Chrome browser for launching the Chrome browser. Okay, because this is a predefined right. All, all this Selenium library is a predefined thing. There's a predefined class and all the stuff. So how to find the implemented code? Okay, uh, I'll press Control key. For press and hold the control key and hover the mouse on this Chrome driver, you will see I'm you see I'm getting open declaration option. Okay, I'll select that open declaration. You see, I'm not taken to the exact implement. I'm not, implemented code is not being displayed here. You see, uh, the jar file Selenium Chrome driver 46 has no source attachment. You can attach the source by clicking attach source below. Okay. So it's saying that uh, this particular jar file doesn't have this uh, source attachment. You have to manually attach the source. By default, the source is not attached. Okay, documentation is not properly attached. Click on the attached source, guys. When I click on the attached source, it's saying workspace, work, workspace location or external location. Here we have this library is already copied under the libraries folder. So I'll say workspace location. Click on the browse button, guys. I'll click on the browse button. And here I need to choose the uh, choose the, what do you call that library, okay? So we'll see what is that actually, uh, Selenium Safari driver 4.6.0, uh, hyphen source is there, okay? This is Safari guys, but I need Chrome driver, right? Chrome. So I'll just attach Selenium Chrome driver 4.6.0 sources, okay? This is what I need to attach guys, okay? Here we have one more thing actually. What is the difference? This is Chromium, this is Chrome. So I want to go with the Chrome guys. For now, I want to look into the Chrome related stuff. So Selenium Chrome driver sources, I will say, okay? Here also we have Selenium API 4.6.0 sources. This one is also fine, okay? Let's see, first we'll attach this general sources and see if it is not working, then we'll go with the detailed one, select okay. Change attached source, it's not working guys, okay? Click on that, again browse. And this time let's go with the detailed one, that is Selenium Chrome. Uh, Chrome driver, Chrome driver 4.6.0 source. Okay. Okay. Now you see the implemented code is coming again. Go back. 
since you have attached, click on control and uh, click on this open declaration. This is how you can attach the documentation, guys. Okay, whenever you are unable, then just go into the libraries and there are a lot of sources. Sources jar files are there. Whatever the sources jar files are there, you just try to attach, attach them. Okay, let's see what are the different sources jar files we have here. You see, this is one thing we can attach. Okay, whenever we are in need of Chrome related stuff, you can attach this source. Okay, then dev tool source, a lot of source uh, related information is there. Okay, Selenium support 4.0 uh, source is there. Okay, different sources are there. So, based on your need, you can attach the appropriate source jar file. And then uh, you will be able to, okay, again, control and just say open declaration. You can see the implemented code of Chrome driver. This is the implementation code, guys, okay? Chrome, Chrome driver is a constructor, you see? The name of the method is same as the name of the class. That means it's a constructor. Inside this constructor, this is the code because of which the Chrome browser is getting launched, okay? So hope, guys, you understood how to attach Selenium documentation, okay, to the projects. So, and uh, see the implemented code, okay? We have to attach the uh, respective sources okay jar file and then you will be able to see the implementation code for the required library uh, classes interface etc of selenium okay so that's all for this session thank you bye